Hello, everyone. Welcome to Technologies Discussion Channel. Today, I'd like to continue the discussion on Arduino and Python programming. The objective of this video is to demonstrate how can we actually use PyCham to turn on or off the three LED through Arduino Uno board. So this will be the task number one. How can we actually make use of PyCham, the programming part, to turn the LED on or off through using Arduino Uno board? This will be the part five series discussion on Arduino and Python programming. If you're keen to know more about Python or also Arduino programming, you actually can take a look on the playlist under the description. They will give you more information on this area. This is my email. If you have any question regards on today's discussion, please drop me an email. Before I continue, I'd like to urge you guys to support this channel by pressing the like and also the subscribe button. Please also turn on your notification bell in order to receive more information from this channel. Guys, once again, sincere thanks for your strong support. Before I touch on the software portion. Okay, so let's assemble the hardware portion or let's quickly go through the hardware portion. The task basically tasks us to control either on or off, either the red LED through the pin 13, control the yellow LED through pin 12, and also control the green LED through pin 11. So how can we actually connect the hardware portion? Basically is shown in this diagram here. This is the Arduino Uno board. Okay, as you can see from here, this is pin 11, 12, 13, and this is actually the ground. So how can we actually control the red LED? Let me give you some idea. For example, okay, we, we can output a high volt or a 5 volt through pin 13, okay, which means that pin 13 is actually high or 5 volt. A current will flow. And once the current will flow, it will actually turn on the LED or the red LED to be more precise. And the current will returning back to the Arduino board through this path here. So therefore, the red LED will turn on if we put a 5 volt at pin 13. What is the role of the resistor? The resistor actually control the amount of current flow. If there's no resistor, the LED may blow because we have a huge current flowing through the LED. So with the resistor, the current or the amount of current that actually flow will be controlled by the resistor value. Hence, for this part here, you need to have a resistor. If not, your LED may blow. So earlier on, I have mentioned just a 5 volt through pin 13, the current flow, and they managed to turn on the red LED. And finally, they return the path through this path here. So again, you can imagine that if I want to turn off the LED, what I need to do is basically I put a zero volt at pin 13. When pin 13 is zero volt, there won't be any current flow and hence the LED will be off. So basically this gave you a good idea how can we turn on and off the red LED. Same for this guy here, okay, the yellow LED, okay, because I don't have a blue LED, I actually has a yellow LED. So basically it's the same idea. What I need to do is basically if I put a 5 volt at pin 12, a current will flow and the yellow LED will light up. And again, they return through this path over here back to the Arduino. Same thing, if I want to off it, I just need to put a zero volt at pin number 12 and there won't be any current flow. And hence, therefore, the yellow LED will be off. Same as the green LED, basically I put 5 volt, the LED will light on. I put 0 volt at pin 11, okay, the LED will not light on. Okay, so let me give you some important concept here. How can we actually connect the LED? This actually show the diagram of a LED. LED, there are basically two legs. Okay, so the longer leg actually is what we call a plus, which is denoted as N0. And the shorter leg is actually called the cat, cannot. Basically, it's a minus term here. So over here, you can see that this is where the 5 volt will flow in first. 
So therefore, the plus side must be on your right, while your minus side must be on your left. Because the current, imagine that they actually flow in this path first. So therefore, it must be a plus, and then after that, it will be a minus. Same for the yellow LED and the red LED. Make sure the plus will be the one that connected to the so-called the power supply portion. And basically, this will be the minus portion, which is connected to the ground. So therefore, how can we actually place the LED is actually very, very important. Make sure also, if not, your LED will not be able to light out. Make sure the plus is actually to the power supply, okay, which means that this is actually the supply. And then after that, they on the LED. After that, they return back to the Arduino board through the ground. Okay, so this is basically task number one. Simply just use the on off to control the LED, red, yellow, green to on or off. Okay, so I just want to show a picture. I have actually successfully connected the circuit as shown over here. Okay, so I actually connect them. You can see that basically they are all connected to my Arduino board. So with this, let's take a look on the programming in order to understand better. Okay, we actually have these two files for our student to work on the Arduino and Python programming. Basically, these two files consist like, for example, we define various pin under the Arduino Uno board, okay, which are the pin that are configured to use for, for example, pin 13 is used for LED, for example, and they also configure either them as input or output. We also configure them to do some monitoring. But in the interest of time, I probably cannot explain on this, okay, because this is actually all done by colleague. Okay, so what happened here is basically after some time when I actually have some time, I actually will do some modification on these two files so that I can share with you guys. At this moment, because in the interest of my student, I'm not able to really go through or explain this part. Basically, they are given these two folder or file to put onto their project. And basically, this will kickstart the understanding of Arduino and Python programming. But like what I mentioned, later on, if I have time, I will actually rewrite this and I will share with you guys. But in the meantime, if you guys are keen to do this together with me, drop me an email, I will send you slightly modified version so that you can also do this together with me. But at this moment, I will say that uh, my concern is basically on my student so that I want them to be able to follow me. So I will not be able to explain this clearly, but what they need to do is basically, they need to select these two files and basically they need to copy into their project file. Okay, but before that, let me go to the PyChain file. Okay, so over here, you can see that I don't have any additional file at this moment. Okay, later on, you will observe the different ones. I paste these two files over at this Python project file. Okay, so let me do this now. Okay, so let's come to this page here. What I need to do is I do a control C to copy it. And next, I'm going to select the folder that I'm actually at. Okay, so let's do this now. So basically, I'm in the C. Okay, I'm in the user. Okay, I'm in this folder here. So I went to PyChamp folder and I go in PyChamp 5 and I paste this two folder. After I paste these two folder, okay, what I need to do is I go back to this here. Over here, you can see that these are the two additional folder that I actually add. Okay, so this is what I meant that basically this control a lot of programming over here. But at this moment, like what I mentioned, I, I don't have time to explain on this. Okay, but later on, I will definitely rewrite all this and share with you guys. But as for now, if you keen to follow me, drop me an email. Okay, I will send you a revised version. Okay, so once we are done this, okay, we, we select under this main menu, we click the file, okay, we're going to select a new, okay, we are going to do a new project. So I go to this Python file, I will name a new project. Okay, for example, I will name this, okay, so it's my week two. Okay, I will name it to on and off three LED on, off, three, 
L-E-D. So basically, I save this under week two. So you can see that I actually have created a new file. Okay, so let's go in deep detail on the programming. So as for now, let's stop over here and I'll explain on the source code of the programming. Okay, the code to write turn on or off the three LED is actually over here. Okay, I will share the source code under the description. So if you can, you can actually copy and then paste on PyCham and actually you can also run this program. Okay, but let me explain okay, line by line what is all this source code about. So these two lines, okay, so basically, as I mentioned earlier on, basically is to load the two files that I actually earlier on mentioned. Okay, but at this moment, I probably can't really describe this further than, than now. So imagine this basically load the two files over here. So on the next line here, basically, I have defined my red LED on time will be three seconds. My green LED on time will be four seconds and my yellow on time will be five seconds. I actually set all the timer for my red, green and yellow LED. So in this line here, I actually say that I will actually look the instruction for five times. So basically over here, the repeat time is actually a so-called how many times I actually want to look the instruction. Okay, so basically I set five. So after that, I actually mentioned to the controller will be at COM7. So after that, basically I'm ready to define. Remember early on the problem statement, I mentioned that the red LED will be at pin 13. And basically I also need to configure pin 13 as an output. So at pin 13, okay, which is at the output, basically this will be assigned to the red LED. Same for the yellow, okay, basically will be assigned to pin 12 and basically pin 12 is configured as an output. Same for this green LED, okay, green LED we actually use a pin 11 and we configure them as an output. Okay, so after this, we actually have this controller start. So basically the control start. So after that, they will actually print this LED light up now. So basically they meant, they actually pre warn us that the LED will start to light up. Okay, so let me move down a little bit here to explain the next portion. So over here, this is basically the number of time that we're going to look this instruction. As I told you that this repeat time is five. So over here, all this instruction, they will actually look five times. Okay, so they will look five times because the repeat time, as I mentioned earlier on, okay, basically this will be five. So firstly, they will actually turn on the LED. So basically now the red LED will turn on. Over here, you can see that how many, the time to sleep. Okay, the time to sleep for red LED will be three seconds. You can imagine they count like three, two, one. After that, they actually come to next time, okay, which they actually turn off the red LED. So after that, they actually turn on the yellow LED. And again, they will be on this timer here. So the yellow LED is supposed to turn on for five seconds. So they will go five, four, three, two, one, and finally come to this line, and the yellow LED will turn off. After that, the green LED will turn on. Okay, again, there will be a timer. Basically, for this time round, for the green LED will be four seconds. They will do it like four, three, two, one. After that, the green LED will turn off. Okay, remember this instruction, they will do it five times. Okay, because we look it five times. So after that, they go back to the red and then yellow, green, and then basically they look it five times. So after they complete to look it five times, they will print this LED turn off. And after that, the controller actually shut down. Okay, so basically this is a simple explanation on the code, the on off the three LED. So now I'm ready to demonstrate to you how it actually works. Okay, please be careful that you actually set it to the current file before you compile. So once you have done all this, okay, so make sure your comms also should be the correct comms on the Arduino board. So once we are done on this, I'm ready to click this button here. So which is the run button. So I actually click the run button here. So give it some time. So basically this thing is actually upload to the Arduino board. Okay, remember this, okay, you need to do this, the standard formata, and also what I have mentioned earlier on, 
you need to do, do this two tasks so that you will be able to use PyChem to load onto your Arduino Uno board. Okay, so under the description, I will mention that these are the steps that you need to follow. Okay, remember you need to do this standard formata and also PyChem interpreter before you actually can run this code here. Okay, I have forgotten to mention this, but this is very, very important okay, because I have done this early on. So therefore I will not be able to go through. Okay, so now he said that, do you want to run the bot component? Okay, which means that, do I want to test the bot component? So over here, I can just put, for example, I want to test, yes. So I put yes and then I enter. Okay, so over here, you can see that there are several parameters that I can actually do. So if I want to test my output device, I can actually put it to here so that I can actually test my output device. So once I put my output device, so basically this is the red LED. So once I press enter, okay, you will be able to see the red LED that is actually connect onto the black box. They actually will turn it on. Okay, so now I will press enter. You can see the LED blink. So now is the time to test the yellow LED. So what you need to do is basically, again, you just need to hit the enter button. Next, you can see the yellow LED blink. So now I'm ready to test the green LED. And again, for this green LED, I just need to hit the enter button. So I hit the enter button. Last but not least, to test the green LED, you can also see that it blink. So after testing the red LED, the yellow LED and the green LED, I will come into this page here. So what I need to do is basically, I want to quit this testing. So what happened here is basically, I will enter a five to quit the testing. Okay, and then you can see that the LED start to light up now. Let's go to the Arduino Uno board to take a close look. You can see the testing process start. The red LED will turn on 3 seconds. The yellow LED will turn on 5 seconds. And the green LED will turn on 4 seconds. And you can see that this process will repeating 5 times. So this will be the second time that they loop. And then again, the green LED will turn on for four seconds. After that, this will be the third loop. The red LED turn on for three seconds, yellow LED for five seconds, and then green LED again for four seconds. So this will be the fourth loop. Okay, so red, yellow, green, and this will be the last loop, which is the fifth loop. Red, yellow and then green and the test will stop because I have defined to loop it for five times. So this actually successfully complete this lab session. Thank you so much. After it has looped for five times, okay, so what happened here is basically they exit the loop instruction and the LED will turn off and the Arduino control system has been shut down. Okay, so basically this is what we have written on the source code. So with this, I like to end my discussion. So from here, you can see that how I actually can write instruction to use PyChem to turn on or off the three LED through the Arduino Uno board. With this, thank you so much for your strong support. I hope to see you soon. Bye for now.